Live, we're live. All right, all right, all right. Here we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are live. Hey, yeah. everybody. Yes. yes. Hello, hello, and welcome to Live at Five. Once again, it's that time. It's Tuesday, guys. We want to welcome you guys to the show. And we have a phenomenal rock star interview lined up with Mr. Tony Hubbard. Yay! I know uh, a lot of you might not have heard of him. Yes. Woo! Yes. yes. Thank yes. you. Come on in. <laughs> yes. Tony has actually been in network marketing since the year 2000. So he's wow. been in this game a long time. He's married with five kids to the same beautiful woman for almost 32 years in September. <laughs> so wow. he can tell you a lot about a lot of things, right? Wow. And he's actually the second of four children himself. So he All definitely right. knows a little bit about working with people, right? <laughs> and he's gonna definitely tell us how he got started and what's going on so tony we just want to get it started and we want you to just share with us and with our viewers just um when and why you decided to get into the network marketing industry uh, Taki, just that's an excellent question and i i learned a long time ago that uh people in generally get involved in the space of network marketing for one of two reasons either inspiration or desperation and, <laughs> and in my case it was desperation you know i was I was an operator at a chemical plant. I was earning a six-figure income, working six to the 80 hours a week. And uh, after being there for 12 years, our company went through a merger. And, and the first lie that they told us is that no one had anything to worry about. Six months later, we were blindsided. And they said, by Christmas, of all times of the year, one out of four would no longer be employed. And, and that was devastating to me. And Although I was not a victim, I watched 264 of my friends lose their employment in a moment's time, and, and that was my wake-up call. I recognized right then it didn't make sense having all of your eggs in one basket, especially if you didn't own that basket. So, right. so to make a long story short, I, I was open for a plan B, and I was desperate to have some type of plan B because I didn't want my family to be subject to somebody else making a decision on whether or not we could pay our bills and whether or not we could eat. So that's why I got involved and in uh, uh, October of 2000, it was 12 o'clock in my life. And I tell people, that's when people get involved. You know, I don't care how great of a presentation you do. I don't care how great of a training you do. Uh, it For people to really get involved, it has to be 12 o'clock in their life. And, and it was 12 o'clock for me. It was desperation. And, and I'm so glad I did. Wow. I love that. Yeah. Right? I've never heard that before. Yeah. 12 o'clock. That's like, what I'm talking about. It's 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 time. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. It's time. That time. So, yeah, right. So Tony, tell us about your first year. What about your first year in the business? Like what were some of the challenges that you faced? Uh my, my first year was horrible at best. Okay. Uh uh matter of fact, uh I I read the book several times which at the time was the number one best-selling book of all time, uh, Your First Year in Network Marketing by Mark O'Neill. That was one of my early heroes, you know. That was wow. one of my early mentors from afar. And uh, and so I, I went through the rejection rocket. I went through the attrition rocket. I mean, I, I experienced all that. And I made money early on uh, in my first six months. And I found out that the reason for that, and, and you know, I learned from Eric Warrior is this. There are a lot of people that have success and we've all seen people get involved, no experience, you know, no networking, no sales background. And, and that was my case. You know, I didn't have any sales background, or anything else, but I found out later on the reason why I had success. Uh, Eric Warray does a training and I've attended a few of those in the GoPro recruiting mastery. I've taken a couple of teams out there. And one of the things he said, the reason why people have success early on with no prior background is that, uh, he said, you're going to either be rewarded or punished based on the kind of person you were prior to getting involved. And because I'd been a blessing to a lot of people, I had a lot of people join my team in my first year. So I had some success, but not the kind of success I wanted to have. And I was being rewarded because of who I was prior to getting involved. You know, so so that's why, you know, but I went through all of 
I mean, attrition was a horrible thing for me. It was it was depressing for me, you know, when people would quit for whatever reason. But I had to learn. I had to, you know, go through my 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 my, my own trials and tests so that I can become a professional. And that was my ultimate goal to become a professional network marketer so I can create that six figure and seven figure income. Wow. That so in other words, you always went in you always went into this with the notion that you wanted to become a six, seven figure income earner. Oh, hundred percent. Because you know, when when I first got involved because of the some of the things that my my uh my, my dad instilled in me and my mom, it was that you always strive to do your best and always, you know. And I and at the moment I, I went to my first network marketing meeting of the company I joined because I got prospected a lot over the years. But I, but I only joined because of desperation. And uh, I, I remember going to my first meeting and I saw some of the people that were standing up and that were having success. And in my mind, I said, listen, if that person doing it, you know, in my mind, I said, they're gonna have to back up a Brinks truck. So, cause I'm gonna make a killing with this thing, you know? <laughs> and so uh, it didn't happen quite like that. Right. But but at the, at the end of the day, I always believed that if somebody else could do it, I could do it. All I ever needed was a chance, an opportunity to do so. That's awesome. That's Brilliant. Awesome. Yeah. yeah, so that, you know, I, I like that you said that because um, a lot of people think that, you know, when they see the people on stage, that it just happened overnight, not realizing you have to go through something. You got to pay your dues. You know, you gotta, you're gotta. you in the trenches just like everyone else. It just didn't happen. It took a lot of hard work, a, hot, a whole lot of, you know, sweat and tears to get there, you know? So I, I'm yeah. glad that you heard that, you know? No one comes into a company successful just like that, you know? We all gotta start from having no one. You yes. Know, to, you know, to growing to, you know, where, where you are today. So that's amazing. That is awesome. That's awesome. Oh, you better believe it. I, I, that's what I said. And I always love having conversations with Tony because Tony has been around for a while and he can tell you the do's and the don'ts and the how to's and the won'ts. <laughs> and uh, one of the, the most interesting things that you said, Tony, and I'm, I'm going to let you say it, was the whole thing about even when you weren't in network marketing, what were some of the things that you were doing? Okay, uh, great, great question. Because, so, like, uh, my story is this. I mean, although I got involved in 2000, I didn't stay in the industry. Uh, this is my third company in 17 years. So, uh, I got involved, and I was eight years in my first company. I made money. I made way more mistakes than I made money, but I gained a healthy education, a healthy respect for the industry. And uh, because I put my family in a financial bind, uh, because, you know, my, my wife has been at home with our kids for 31 of the 32 years. Uh, mm -hmm. It forced me to go back in corporate America reluctantly, you know, I put, you know, because I mean, it just wasn't cutting. It. And mm -hmm. so I, I got out of the industry from like 08 to 2012. Mm -hmm. And but during that time, uh, and at that time, my wife hated network marketing ladies. I mean, she hated it because she saw the the good, bad, and mostly the ugly. You know, see, she right. saw that. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, yeah. but the four years I was out of the space, I was still going to seminars. I was still reading the books, listening to the tapes. And I told my wife, I always knew I was going to do network marketing again, simply because of residual component. You know, six figures a year is nice. And I've been blessed now to earn that in and outside of network marketing. But it's a lot nicer when that money's residual, you know. And yeah. so, uh, no, so when I got involved the second time, I mean, it was a trial because my wife was my biggest critic. You know, as a matter of fact, in my second company, my wife gave me a lot of problems up till I got to 20000 a month. When I got to 20000 a month, I went from zero to hero. So. All right. <laughs> oh, interesting. That was the magic number, huh? Okay. <laughs> yeah. And I think a lot of our listeners needed to hear that too, because a lot of times we get that question, like, what do I do if I have a spouse that is, is negative and is, you know what I'm saying? They, they always have something negative to say about what I'm doing. Like I'm trying my best. And, and that's why I, I love you so much. Like <laughs> you just hit the nail right on the head. <laughs> that's right. So you know what the answer is y'all. Make some money. Make money. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. I mean, because 
I mean, I, I tell you, I said, uh, I mean, I mean give, give an example, you know, and I, and I, I, I share this in training oftentimes is that uh, because my, my last company, you know, it, it you know, uh, they, they changed comp plan, they changed the product and service. So, you know, I, I got back into corporate America. But the best thing that happened to me in my first network marketing company is I learned some skills. And I was able to go into a sales arena that I had never done sales before and become the number one salesman in North America out of like 3,000 individuals uh, with sales with ADT Home Security. And, uh, but I remember, like I said, when I got back in the space, and I've been full time since 2012. Uh, my wife, uh, she fought me, like I said, up to 20000 a month. I remember I told my wife, I said, baby, uh, look like this is going to be my first uh, $3,000 check for the week. We got paid every week. And the check was like $2,875. She said, I thought it was going to be 3000 I said, okay, okay, okay. And then, and then a couple of months later, I said, baby, look like this is going to be my first $5,000 week in this company. And that check was four thousand nine hundred and fifty dollars. She said, "I thought it was gonna be five thousand. I said, "Baby, do you know how many people don't make this in a month?" Right. <laughs> and so, uh, but I mean, it was a fun journey. But I knew what I had to do. You know, I mean, uh, because once you earn that income, I mean, I, I tell people all the time: for those that want to go full time and create that six figure and seven figure income, is this. Uh, You'd be surprised. Ten thousand dollars a month will make a whole lot of problems in your house go away. I mean, I promise you. Sure. Ten thousand dollars a month will make a whole lot of. I mean, twenty thousand dollars a month will make a whole lot of issues in your life just go away. So, so I'm telling you. So that that's what I strive for because I knew once I got money as an issue out of the way, then. We could get back to a happy marriage, you know. So there you go. Happy nice. marriage. Like, yes. That's, <laughs> that's for sure. Well, that leads into the next that's question. true. Yeah. So it leads into the next question. So what do you feel is the most effective ways to build a network marketing business? Great question. Uh everybody's different, okay. Um, uh, because you have people today. Uh, and it was not the case when I first got involved back, back when I first got involved back in 2000, there was no such thing as an online. I mean, you know, you had people that bought leads and stuff like that, but that was no online. We didn't have the social media. We didn't have the internet like we have today. Right. So back, I mean, I was trained old school, you know, face to face, belly to belly, you know? Mm -hmm. And so, and that's, that's how I learned. Now I'm incorporating now as far as online marketing. I tell people I'm about 90% old school, 10% new school. And my ultimate goal, and I don't mind sharing with you ladies, to be about 70% old school and 30% new school. And so if a person is an online market, I tell them, you know, to, to start with the basics. You know, I mean, because at the end of the day, you know, the way you're going to build any network marketing, you're going to have to get in front of people, you know, whether that's online, offline, whatever the case may be. And the oh, best yeah. way to give yourself success is to start off with some type of launch. You know, don't just start your business, launch your business. You know, that's that's how you you have the kind of success you know uh we we have uh, actually one of my top leaders right now uh he, you know, i've been a part of this company since you know it'd be five years in november but one of my top leaders that hadn't even been on board six months uh uh you guys know a uh, kwan mayo now he's he's 100 percent online market you know mm -hmm. so he's totally opposite i'm learning some stuff from him Mm -hmm. But uh, the reason why he was able to come in and create uh, uh, a 10000 plus a month income after his first month was that we did a launch for him. You know, we, we collaborated and said, you know, let's launch. And I told him, hey, pr invite a bunch of your folks online, get the traffic to a Zoom. We'll do the presentation. I'll see if I can get maybe one of the corporate people on there. I got one of the co-founders on there. He put over 100 and some people on the Zoom and we had nearly 80 sign up that first night. And so that's how we launched the business and, right. and, and to get him to a, a rank that what most people take three to six months, he was able to do it in less than two weeks. So yeah. that's awesome. Awesome. Beautiful. That's phenomenal. Ooh. That's crushing <laughs> that's it. That's cool. I'm crushing it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's the epitome. <laughs> crushing. Yes. By the way. Guys, if you're getting some nuggets from out of this, please, please put a gold in the chat. We appreciate you guys. 
Oh man, yes. um, thank uh, you. Tony. Is everybody yeah. enjoying this? Is everybody yeah. enjoying this? Getting man. value? Put the word value in big letters. And Tony, yes. you are you are an incredible human being. I can see your love and your humor. We're just so happy to get to know you. And guys, if you want to get to know Tony even further, go into Facebook, Tony H U B B A R D. Send him a friend request. Give him some love, and keep going. Keep it yes, going, Melissa. I'm dying laughing at Melissa's comment. I'm so sorry. She was like, "Miss Hubbard loved them real." Them them. Loves them. <laughs> <laughs> well, my, my, my wife is not a. My wife is not a fan of rounding off, you know, rounding <laughs> up to the next number. Oh, no. boy, what what the number it. say? <laughs> That's great. If you get the lot of love here, Tony, people are saying pool, much value, value. Um, they Very just good. Pool. Well, you know, we love bringing value to you guys. So we got to continue with this incredible uh, gentleman and get all those golden nuggets. Hope you guys are taking yeah. notes. Don't yes. forget your notes. Your notes are definitely uh, content for tomorrow. Yeah. And just so you all know, uh, I'm just, uh, when you see me looking down, I am paying attention. I'm just on our Facebook and I see in the you. comments. I see you in the comments. Absolutely. All right. So Absolutely. continue. Continue, wow. ladies and gentlemen. So if you are in the... Um, in the network marketing space, you know, with all the um, with all the experience that you have, what, what do you think you would be doing now? Uh, I, I, I mean, that, that's a good question. I mean, I, I have multiple streams of revenue outside of network marketing. You know, I'm a firm believer in multiple streams. You know, I'm a part owner of a roofing business. Uh, I have a consulting business where I actually consult with. Uh, our owners are our potential owners of network marketing companies and then uh and then also have a speaking public speaking business and so uh oh, yes. but uh one of the things i love to do is uh you know i i, I coach uh basketball at a private school for like three years prior to get involved in network marketing and i would probably be doing something in that arena you know, to do something like that because i, I love uh being in a position where i can add value uh you know i, I pride myself on being that servant leader uh, and one of my first mentors from afar, and I, I was blessed to meet him a few times, was uh, the great Zig Ziglar. And uh, I, I built, I've always built my business based upon his philosophy that you can have everything you want out of life if you simply help enough other people get what they want out of life. And the only way I believe that, you know, like in my current company, you'll maximize the compensation plan is that you focus on helping other people on your team become successful. And, and I love that aspect of it. So, and so, uh, so I, I'd be doing something from a, a servant leadership uh, uh, perspective, coaching or, or you know, uh, speaking. I've, I've done a lot of speaking, even in prisons and things of that nature. So, you know, to be in a position to give back has definitely been a godsend. So, yeah, I can see that. I can see that. You know, you are really a, a, a people person, very sure. personal, always giving value, always dropping nuggets. You know, I remember when we first met, you was just dropping it. You know, they look, come over here. And, we, you know, let's go around and tell you. <laughs> you always have something of value to say. So, you know, I really, yes. I really appreciate that. And I can really see all of that. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Absolutely. Very positive individual. Mm -hmm. Pat, you want to take the next question? Yeah, I am just filling out somebody's comment here. Yeah, because you're getting a lot of love here. We're, we're getting a lot of comments. Yeah. Somebody, somebody said uh, multiple streams of income and um, uh, leading to an ocean of wealth and changing lives for the best. Kanye said that. I hope I said your name correctly. I really like that. Kanye. Kanye. Well, Kanye. Kanye. Thank you. T. Got the girl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank God. Right. <laughs> um, we like that. So, yeah. So basically uh, talking about multiple streams of income, um, you've mentioned, obviously, that you have multiple streams. When did you first get into multiple stream after? Like, what was your next? You know, how long were you in your first company before you said to yourself, oh, OK, I'm going to like branch out? 
Uh, actually, uh, I, I didn't really start creating multiple streams until my second network marketing company. And, uh, and I was blessed years, that. How many years was that? Oh, I, I was, uh, I was eight years in, uh, eight, oh. eight years in. Okay. And, uh, and again, cause I really didn't understand the financial aspect of it, you know, because if you are just doing network marketing by itself, you still, that's still one stream, you know? So, so I, I, I learned, I, I, I went, I mean, every year I was focusing on at least putting 10% of my earnings back into personal development so I could learn from people that were having a lot more success than myself. And so, uh, so uh, I got my first multiple stream, uh, probably my eighth year, you know, as far as public speaking. And then, uh, then the roofing business came about after that. And then after I had made a few millions in the network marketing space, then I started doing the consulting aspect of it as well. So. That's beautiful. That's yeah. beautiful. You know, that's the beauty of the industry because it teaches you how to be a leader. It, it forces you to do professional development. And then you can just do whatever it is you want to do. Things that you never even thought you could do because of what network marketing was, you know, gives you. You know, yeah, like for example, if you wanted to open a, a, a brick and mortar and you're into real estate or you want to do construction, you know, why not? It's a fun, if you like it, why not? Mm -hmm. So, so you're Sorry. saying after a good amount of time and accumulating money and personal development, you decided to branch out. Is that correct? Absolutely. And, you know, and, I, and I've, I've been blessed now to be in a position where I've actually invested in some of my friends' ventures as well. Nice. Because again, you know, I, I, I believe that if you do that, you know, you, you keep that, that, that flow coming back and stuff. So, uh, so I've, I've been able, uh, again, I'm in a position now where I'm, I'm blessed to be able to do that. Whereas, uh, once upon a time in the beginning, I, it was not the case. So. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Which leads me, <laughs> which, which, yeah, it takes a while to develop, but once you do, it's a beautiful thing. The sky's the limit. Yeah. yeah. Whatever you want. Uh, my, our next question is, uh, what is one of your most memorable moments of your 17-year, 18 year, Actually, it's more. It's like 20-year career in network marketing. Do you have an outstanding moment that really stands out? Yeah. Well, it's actually several different moments, uh, and probably the most significant ones was not necessarily when I walked the stage, when I got the prize, but to see other people on my team that, uh, for the most part, people had counted out. You know, they they figured that, you know, they were not voted the most likely to succeed. And to see those individuals walk the stage, you know, like, uh, like we, we just had a convention in our company. We had about a thousand people there. And to be able to go to a convention and you know that everybody in that arena is actually a part of your team. And so you're seeing everybody walk the stage and, you know, and tears come to your eyes because you remember, you know, because I've been a part of the company since the beginning, uh, I've seen some people grow that uh, one of my guys named Joseph Black, you know, he's uh, he's had a lot of success. Well, this guy was, he's an introvert, you know, he, uh, he was, he was uh, nearly, to the point of having a heart attack just by doing a testimonial one time on a call. And now this guy's up on the stage, you know, presenting and training and stuff. So, That's so to man. see people grow to that point, I mean, uh, and I've, I've had a, a few hundred occasions like that that happen, and That's always a beautiful thing. I mean, it's, it's a blessing to see, you know, when you walk the stage, but I understand that the only reason I'm able to walk the stage is because other people helped me get to that point. So. Mm, right. Right. Yes. Well, for them to, for you for you to get to that point, you did your part by helping exactly. them. By helping them, they helped you. So you know, and, and like one, one of my mentors is a great uh Jim Rome and uh he said you'll have success in this arena of network marketing uh when you work harder on yourself than you do on your business. So so mm -hmm. I knew I had to work hard on myself because you know um I, uh, people ask me why I didn't have the kind of success I'm having now in my first company. And uh, the short answer is this, you know, I knew how to be an employee, but I didn't know how to employ me. I did not know how to make my talent on my boss. You know, I did not know that that was a different mindset. I had to develop that mentality. I had to eat what I kill every single day. And, mm, and yeah. once I developed that and it was some, some personal development, I had to go through some things. I had to have some hard conversations with myself. 
then it, once I grew into that type of leader, then the income followed, you know. And you, and one of the things I found to be true, uh, you will never have the income to grow beyond the type of leader you really are. You know? mm. Ooh. Now you said a lot of golden nuggets there and one of them really struck me and I'm sure people want to write things down. There was something you said about something about me. Do you ladies remember the, it was one of the first <laughs> yes, things. I, <laughs> yes, that's what he says all the time. I knew how to be an employee, but I didn't know how to employ me. Let, let's all that's, write that's that down. That's Tony Hubbard's let, hand. Let, let, let's, let's write that one down. Of them. One of that them. Is, <laughs> that is so incredible. And I'm sure if it hit me, it's yeah. hit other people. Uh, look um, at this fire. Let's, let's this write fire. it down. Let's write it down. Uh, can can somebody yes. write that down in the comments so we have it for posterity? Yes. Uh, say yes. that again. Would you, would you, Tony, say it again, please? I said, I, you know, the long and short of why I didn't have success in my first eight years is that I knew how to be an employee, but I did not know how to employ me. I did not know how to make my calendar my boss, you know, and because I had to realize and what most people don't come to grips with is that I had been 22 years in corporate America when I first got involved. So I had 22 years of messed up programs. Right. Okay. Yeah. So, so, so I had to retrain the brain, and and I had to go from that employee mindset to that entrepreneur mindset. Right. And it took eight years before yeah. I really graduated that particular class. So. Wow, wow, wow. So you know, it's really true when people say, and uh, Eric Worre says this all the time that you're not really joining a company business; you're really getting into personal development. Is it, so. this industry is like so. a personal development, and then you know you get like as a, as a treat, you get like a a, a product, you know. But we'll that's not like, <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, you you're not getting really. Uh, it's just phenomenal, and you like to me, you embody that whole theory so perfectly. Oh yeah, I mean, I you've mean, gone I through blood, sweat, and tears to be where you are today. That's right. right. Wasn't a walk in the yes. park. And, and take note, Tony is not a man that gives up easily. 31 years in a marriage, right? Five kids, like he, everything, he has a- Everything he does. He sees it. He sticks well, with well, it, okay? One, well, one of the things that's caused me to have success, ladies and gentlemen, and, and it's something that we all can do, uh, the best of the best. I've been blessed to spend time with some million dollar year earners, some million dollar month earners, and one of the things that they, I saw they all had in common, somewhere along their entrepreneur journey, they developed the mentality, I'm going to finish what I started. Mm. You know, and yeah. you'll, be some, you'll be amazed at what kind of success you can have in the future if you just develop that mentality, I'm going to finish what I started. I love it. I yeah, love right. It. Right. That's a great mentality. Yep. Very, great very mentality. good. Very good. Okay. Everybody's getting value here. They are, uh, the comments are coming in. I knew, I, I think a lot of people resonate to that employee, but did not know how to employ me. Schedule your business time to free up your schedule, discipline and consistency. And one person says dropping nuggets. So yeah, so we're all excited. Yeah. And yeah. let's keep it going. Let's, let's do some, uh, Love right now. Let's get some yes. love. I'm Drop so some love right. for Tony. Yep, like yes. like those hearts oh, and damn. flowers coming in. Thank you. Thank you. All so right. Yes. Star now, interview. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's do this. Oh, man. Uh, making the calendar his boss. Yes, I like Whoa. that. Very good. Real yeah. down to earth and raw. That's what we like yeah. to give you guys. This is all yeah, always we, non scripted. <laughs> we don't know what, what the person will say when we interview. We, that's why we're always like, oh, hmm, like, I don't know. So we're, we're, like, we're, just, we're, we're as excited guys. as you guys are, right? Because we don't give, the, oh, yeah. we don't give our uh, people the questions before they come yeah. on, all right? So this is raw. Great, very good work, Takesh. I love that. This is a oh, yeah. raw and live interview with the man, Tony Hubbard. Yes, Tony, he said, I'm 
they're inspired by Tony. I am going to finish what I started. Started mentality. Right. Let's yes. do it. Let's do it, ladies and gentlemen. And I now, yep. and now for our last question, it is five thirty p.m. So if you all give us your permission, we will ask the last question in this interview, and we will do a ten minute Q and A. So do we have your permission to continue? Put a yes in the comments, please. Tony's Let ready. Us know. All right, guys. Let's Tony's go. ready. Let's go. Let's Are go. you ready for the last question? Yes. Yes. Tony, you ready? Okay. This one's a I'm good ready. one. This one's a good one. Tony, right. that's phenomenal. Yes. Yeah. We get Renee, the you saying? Valerie, yes. Valerie wants to hear from us. Renee wants yeah. to hear from you. Melissa, let's do this. All right. The last question for today. Tony, if you, God forbid, lose everything tomorrow, everything, and all you had to do, all you had was your telephone and, and or your computer and your smile, but you didn't have any list, no list, Tony. <laughs> He's like, you have 30 days. 30 days to succeed again, 30 days to put at least 10 grand in your pocket. Tell our audience what you would do to put 10 grand in your pocket if you lost everything and only had your phone and your smile. The first thing I would do, I would, I would uh, find just a handful of leaders and we would put together a launch and we would go at it all out massive action everything all the time every day and within 30 days we'll be at well over ten thousand dollars a month because what we would do we would do a 30-day blitz yeah. and every single day we do presentations multiple times and i've done this many times i mean i've done a i've, I've done a 60-day blitz where we did three presentations a day wow you know for six six nights a week you know six times a day you know six times a week and again, every time we, we got that momentum started, you know, so, so yeah, that's, that's exactly what I would do. And, and again, I would definitely be well over 10,000 a month within a 30 day one. Now, you know, you see how easy that came to, yeah. to Tony. He didn't have to think, <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't have to stutter. That's uh, right. He just said, I would find me some leaders. I hope you wrote this down, ladies and gentlemen. I would find me some leaders mm -hmm. and we would do a launch. In other words, 30 days, hit the phone, call up everyone you know, right? Am I right about that? You would get on the 100%. phone, 100%. you would meet them in a Starbucks perhaps, and you would- Stop it, a and, bread, whatever. You know. and, and, then yeah, you would, well. and then what would you do? Present the opportunity? Yeah, I mean, I, I, what I would do is paint the vision. Okay, that's the first thing I would do. I would let them know I'm getting ready to do something big, okay? I'm getting ready to do something big and paint the vision and just understand this here. A vision is simply a disclosure of an unseen reality, okay? Mm -hmm. That's all it is. It's a disclosure of an unseen reality. So I would paint the vision that in the next 30 days, and I would utilize that fear of loss, I'm going to be at 15, 20,000 a month in the next 30 days. Now, in order for that to happen, I'm going to need four to eight of you guys to be at least 10 grand a month as well. So I'm going to find four to eight people that want to get to 10,000 a month in the next 30 days. So I just need to know, are you in or are you out? I mean, that's, that would be the conversation, in or out. I mean, I, I got no time for tire kickers. I got no time for folks that want to fill the bricks. I just need to know, are you in or out? Because I'm getting ready to do something big. I'm going to paint the vision. Here's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to execute every single day until it yes. happens. Now, if they say to you, okay, yeah, well, what is it though? What company? What, what, what are we, what are we selling? What's going, you know, well, is it, are, do you, I would, I would give them the company because those, those initial leaders, I'm going to let them know here's, here's where, here's where I'm going to plant my flag. Okay, I'm planting my flag right here. Wow. Here's what we're going to do. Yeah. And here's what we're going to do. And I'm going to find some leaders that are sick and tired of being sick and tired. They're tired of being a cheerleader. 
They're tired of standing on the sidelines and they're ready to step on the field and play the game. Ooh, and so, like so if they've done yeah. it before, if they've done it before, then my question to them, do you have another run in you? Okay, because, you know, I mean, I, I've done yeah. trainings on the, the three types of bees that you're going to find in the market. There's the used to be, there's the want to be, and then there's the bumblebee. Okay, <laughs> those are three types of bees you're going to find in every network marketing company. Unfortunately, there's a lot of people that have made money or a little money or some money, but they're used to bees. They are, they're talking about what they did 10 years ago, talking right. about what they did 15 years ago. And right now, they, you know, they, they can't even afford their auto ship. Okay, that's a used to be. Okay, yeah. Yeah. then you're going to have the want to be. You know, man, I, I mean, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, but you don't execute, you don't go out there and do it. But I'm looking for the bumblebees. And the bumblebees is this. The bumblebees, they don't listen to the negative and the naysayers. Here's the mentality. See, the bumblebee, according to the experts, is not supposed to fly. His body is too big. Aerodynamically, it's not supposed to work. The body is too big. The wings are too small. But because the bumblebee doesn't listen to none of that, he goes around from flower to flower and makes honey every day. That's who I look yeah. for every single day. Woo, I'm looking yeah. for that bumblebee. It's not listen to the naysayers. I don't care if you've never done it before. I just need to know: Can I count on you? And we're gonna we're gonna show you. We're gonna take you to the promised land. All right, all right. Yeah. Unbelievable. Right. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. You want? I'm, I'm ready. I'm, you know, ready to like, I'm ready to partner up with you, Tony. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> let's let's come on. It. Come on. Man. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. <laughs> That's okay, well, that. listen, listen, everyone. Okay, what do we got to say to Mr. Tony Hubbard? I mean, is this class act or what? Oh, yeah. I mean, what are you guys going to go out and do tomorrow? That's what I want to know. What are you guys going to go do tonight or today after hearing him? What kind of I'm actions are you going to take? Yes. Put it down in the comments because... You know, mm -hmm. we're not here just to like, you know, put down these great things. We want to see you grow. We want to see you become six and seven figure earner because we believe Absolutely. in you, don't we? Don't we, Takesha? Absolutely. Don't we, Darius? That's what it's all about. That's right. And Tony we definitely is a believer in people. That's, That's one thing right. I can tell you. Tony is always there. He is a believer in people, and he is definitely a servant leader. So and I, I, I am proud to say that I'm learning from him. <laughs> oh my God. Like, it, it has to be, I'm telling you, it's, it's definitely learned. Like a lot of people think that it's genetics and it's this, and no, you, it could be taught. Like success is taught, right? We, we Ladies, we found that out, right? Mm -hmm. Success yes. is structure. Success so is the, just stru structure. And and he That's said, it. like he mentioned, Eric Worre. Eric Worre is a seven-figure network income earner. So, you you know, you hang out with people and you learn and you just absorb it and take action. Mm -hmm. Right, Tony? You got to take the action. Otherwise, I mean, he just laid out a 30-day plan without hesitating <laughs> and super sure 110 percent that within 30 days you would make over 10 grand so yeah you know we we have got the the incredible leadership here and you know tony thank you and I, i'm gonna like stay in touch with you i really am honored to meet you and thank you ladies for turning me on and the rest of uh, mm -hmm. Live at five team on. Yes, yes, yes. We only and do you guys? Oh, exactly. Only the best for you guys. Only you know, I mean, do we, we give you only you guys the best? <laughs> do we <laughs> like, give you on, only the best, best, guys? Do we give you yeah, only right? the best here? I mean, you <laughs> tell us, right? Do we give you guys so what? interviews or yeah. what? Yes. Do you so, have any questions? That's what we want to yes. know. Do you guys have questions. any questions for Tony? 
Okay, we're not saying bye yet. She thought the interview was over. Oh, she was running. Almost, <laughs> yay! That's her goodbye girl. She was like, no, but I don't mean. She's our goodbye girl. <laughs> She's the good one. She's the live at five. Goodbye. <laughs> All right, this is not having too much of a good time here. Okay, who? Are, any questions? We got any all questions? this great info, any Tony. Valerie any says great info. Melissa says awesome information. Thank you, Mr. Hubbard. Any questions for Tony Hubbard? Thank you. Awesome. I think they have so much to uh, They don't have any questions. Uh, no questions. I mean, they're thinking just... about those blitzes they're about to get on. <laughs> they're about to all those books and professional development that they need to, to do. The skills and the skills. <laughs> And and making the, and Tony, you seem like. Um, what are you thinking? I'd, I'd love to know what you're thinking about right now. <laughs> <laughs> like, then what have I got myself into? With these crazy yeah, guys? Right, 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 running a thousand miles a minute. Uh, you know, I I got a couple of other zooms I got to do today. Uh, mm -hmm. But you know, every every single day. Yeah. Uh, you know, I look for ways to to add value to, to people's life and and to make sure mm -hmm. that. Uh, I do something today that my future self would thank me for, mm -hmm. and and that's what you do in, in network marketing. Uh, one of the books I, I encourage you to read, uh, if you hadn't already, uh, and and I've read it a couple of times, is the Power of Five by John C. Maxwell. Uh, that was the that was the only book that he's written. He's written over a hundred different books, but he wrote it on last year. It's the only book he's ever written for a particular industry, and, and it's for network marketing. It talks about the five things that the top leaders in network marketing do every single day. Mm. And one of one of them is to add value to people's life. You know, uh, you know, every single day. You know, and another one is developing that mindset. You know, every single day. But it's called the Power of Five, and it's a, it's a it's a small read, yeah. but. Uh, it is. You know, Maxwell has been a mentor. He, he has a group of, of network marketers that uh, that pay him every year for coaching and leadership coaching uh, for different companies, and, and they're called ambassadors. And, and a good friend of mine was, is actually one of them, and, and uh, he told me about it because he launched it in that guy's company. But it's called the Power of Five, and it really talks about five things that the six-figure and seven-figure earners in network marketers do every single day. You know that okay. you know, and the one you of them that's that that mindset. But you know, just focus on adding value to people's lives. You know, if you add value to people's lives every day, I mean, you're, you're never gonna lose. And that Thank was by John C. Maxwell. John C. Maxwell, yeah. John Maxwell, yeah. All right, awesome. Okay. Now he, has, he has another book called the Power of Five. If you want a, a Power of Five for network marketing, it's a little small book. Okay. You know. Well, we're definitely gonna get on that. Thank you yeah. for sharing that with us. Yes, thank you so much, Tony. Make sure you guys You're get the book. Thank you for being here. It's always thank a beautiful you. thing really to get a chance to share a platform yeah, with such beautiful ladies. So it's always a beautiful yeah. thing. So. Thank you, sir. Appreciate thank your time. You. Thank you so much. And you, you're in New York, Pat? I'm in New York. Anytime you're uh, coming. I'm actually going to be in New Jersey. Uh, I was invited to speak at a regional event on the 21st of next month. So. I'll be there for like four days and stuff. So. Oh, good. Okay. Well, that's just a hop and a skip away from me. So, yeah. I, I'd love to connect with you. I'll, we'll 100%. 100%. Meet. Yeah, definitely. Okay, cool. Again, right. thank you so much for your time and your uh, sharing yeah. and servant leadership. Thank you so Absolutely. much. Absolutely. And thank you guys for attending. Mm -hmm. We yes. always appreciate live you guys. Five. Five. Yes. And we, we will see you next week. We'll be back week. next week. We appreciate and love you. Christina, take it away. Christina, <laughs> okay. Yay! Bye. 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 Thank you, everyone. Yes, we'll you yes, we <laughs> will. And welcome to your house tomorrow. Yes, <laughs> we're live. Next Maybe Tuesday. Next Tuesday. Tuesday. We're talking to. We're live. All right. We'll see you next, next Tuesday. Tuesday. Next Tuesday. Live at five. Live at five. Bye. 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 See you guys house tomorrow. Bye guys. Okay.